Okay, so good morning guys. Uh, so for this week, we are going to talk about uh, conditional statements. So what is conditional statements are for? So ginagamit po natin ito sa mathematics as a logical reasoning. So for this week, uh, we are going to have the walkthrough about our Topics. So, we are now on week 5 of our self-learning module. So, that is all about conditional statements. So, if you will study your lesson, then surely you will pass. But as you can see, we have if here and then, then here. So, if implies to then. Or let's say, sabihin natin, itong if ay yung P, then, then, ay yung Q. Okay? So, if implies Q. So, therefore, so, if this is the statement class, this is a conditional statement. So, conditional statement has two parts. The if, which is the hypothesis na tinatawag. And then, then, which is the conclusion. Okay? So, take note of that. So, we have the if and then parts of conditional statements. In the conditional statement, you have to identify the hypothesis and the conclusion. So, there are instances that you may omit the word then, but still you can identify the conclusion. Take note of that, ha? You can identify the conclusion kahit na. Alisin natin yung word na then. Okay? So, for example, this statement is if x if 2x is equal to 12, then x is equal to 6. So, you may write it as if 2x is equal to 12, x is equal to 6. Inalis natin yung word na then, pero may conclusion pa rin. x is equal to 6. So, the hypothesis is 2x equals 12, and the conclusion is x equals 6. Okay? So, yun lang po yun. So, here is the learning task 1 of our self-learning module. So, for our learning task 1, so it consists of uh, uh, 5 items. 5 items po siya. Then, you are going to identify the hypothesis, hypothesis and conclusion. So, therefore, for learning task 1, it contains 10 points. As you can see in our... Google Classroom. Ito po yung ating Google Classroom. So, 10 points po yung ating learning task 1. Okay? Okay. So, let us now proceed to our uh, self-learning module. Let us continue. A conditional statement is also called an if-then statement. If-then statement daw ha. It has a truth value of true or false. Which is, kaya nga po siya from the word conditional statement uh, to be true, show that the when hypothesis is true. So, the conclusion is also true. While, to be false, you need to have uh, a counter example uh, where hypothesis is true but the conclusion is false. Okay? So, for example, if 3x equals 24, then x is equal to 8. So, let us see. This is a true conditional statement since there is no other value of x that will make the equation 3x equals 24 true except 8. That is because 8 times 3 is 24. Another one. Show that the conditional statements which are false if x is x is square equals 64 then x is equal to 8 the conditional statement is false since the conclusion have other value to make this statement 
true. That is because, pag sinabi nating positive 8 lang, pwede naman kasi maging negative 8. That is because, negative 8 square is also equal to 64. Diba? So, pwede siyang positive or negative 8. Okay? If a, fig if a figure has four equal sides, then it is a square. The conditional statement is false since rhombus is also a figure of with, e with four equal sides too. Diba? Ang rhombus. Kasi square din lang siya, pero siya ay tumagilid lang. As a diagonal. Ano? Naging slant lang siya. Pero, with four equal sides also. Okay? Yan. So, you can also write simple statements into conditional statement. Example. Number one, a rectangle has two pairs of parallel sides. Okay? So, if if the figure if the figure is a rectangle, then it has two pairs of parallel sides. So what is the hypothesis? The hypothesis is the figure is a rectangle. What is the conclusion? It has two pairs of uh, parallel sides. Okay? So madali lang ano. The number is prime, it has only two factors. So the hypothesis is the prime, the number is prime, then the conclusion, it has two vectors. Okay? Number three, third example. One half of a number is 12, the number is 24. So the hypothesis is one half of the number is 12, and the conclusion is the number is 12. And uh, this is our conditional statement. If one half of the number is 12, then the number is 24. Kasi ang one half ng 24 ay 12. Diba? Yan. You can also uh, make a Venn diagram that can be used to illustrate a conditional statement. Things that satisfies the hypothesis ba must be inside the things that satisfies the Conclusion. So, for example, if a number is an integer, then it is a real number. So, meaning, nasa loob ng real numbers ang integers kasi mas malawak yung real numbers. If you are a Filipino, then you are an Asian. So, Filipino nasa loob, then Asian. Kasi ang Asian pwede rin maging Malaysian. Diba? Lahat ng mga tao na nasa loob ng Asian continent. Okay? So, write the conditional statement statement for the Venn diagram. So, this time, kung ang given natin ay yung conditional statement na gagawa natin ng Venn diagram, this time, ang given naman po ay Venn diagram. So, nasa loob ng kalabarso ng Rizal. If you reside in Rizal, then you are from kalabarso. Okay? So, that is true. Then, if you eat eggplant, then you eat uh, vegetables. Kasi ang eggplant ay vegetables. Okay? So, yun po. Then, for our learning task 2, ang gagawin po natin, change the statements to an if, then, or conditional statements. i -re -re write lang po natin. And then, identify the hypothesis and the conclusion. So, so for set A, Ang set A po natin ay 5 items. And then, siya po ay set A ay 10 points. For set B, we have 10 points also. And 2 points each. Ito po kasi yun. Okay? For set B, 2 points each siya. So, determine if the conditional statement is true. If not, give a counter example. Kung siya ay false, magbibigay po kayo ng example. So, ganun po ka simple yung ating set B ng learning task 2. Then, for learning task 3, illustrate the following conditional statements in Venn diagram. So, sa set A po natin, ang ating points ay, for set A, we have 10 points and that is 2 points each also. Then, for set B, 
10 points, 5 points each. Ayan po, ano ha? So, ito yung ating sample. Okay? So, interchange the conclusion and hypothesis sa uh, Will be the, will the resulting conditional statements is true or false? Then why? Okay, so dalawa lang po yung item na yan. Okay? So yun po, dito nagtatapos yung ating week 5. So this time, dako naman po tayo sa ating another set of examples. Ano ba yung ating mga set of examples? So meron po tayong inihanda dito na quizzes at ito po ay gagawin nating flip chart okay so the given is uh, if i have a Siberian husky then i have a dog identify the hypothesis ito po yung ating options if i have a Siberian husky then i have a dog i have a Siberian husky I have a dog. So, what do you think is the answer? So, ang tinatanong po ay hypothesis. At ito ay I have a Siberian Husky. Po. Next. Which statement has a true truth value? Okay. So, ito yung ating, uh, ating pagpipilian. Fish can walk. Nakakalakad ba ang fish? Birds can fly. Chicken has four legs. Shark has two legs. So, therefore, madali lang yan. Birds can fly. Next, for the inverse, we blank the hypothesis and the Conclusion, and that is, kapag inverse daw, siya ay, it's it switch, negate, switch, and negate. And I think that is uh, negate. So, ne -ne -ne ay, ibig sabihin, negative ang dating. Ano? Given, if I have a Siberian Husky, then I have a dog. Identify the inverse. So, ano yung inverse natin dito? And that is... Uh, if I do not have a Siberian Husky, then I do not have a dog. So, negative po. Okay? Nilagyan lang po natin siya ng do not, then do not. And, I, and that topic is for the next week. Ano? If it is dark outside, then it is night. So, ano yung conversa statement nito? So, the converse statement is, uh, if it is night, then it is dark outside. So, P implies Q. What is this? So, ito yung ating pinag lang kanina na conditional statements. Okay? P implies Q. What is the converse? So, ano naman yung kabaliktaran niyan? It is this one. This one, this one, or this one. And I think that is yung kabaligtaran. Q implies P. Ano? Yung P or Q implies P. Next. If Jimmy goes on vacation, then he will go to Orlando. So what is the hypothesis of the given conditional statements? Of course, Jimmy goes on vacation. Next, identify the hypothesis and conclusion of the conditional statement. Okay? If you give me 20 pesos, then I will give you I will be your best friend. Okay? So, yon. Next, for the converse, we blank the hypothesis and conclusion. And I think that is switch. Pinagbabaligtad lang po natin. Given if I have a Siberian Husky, then I have a dog. Identify the contra positive. Ano naman po yun? So, yung po ang pangapagpipilian. 
So, the contrapositive, if I do not have a dog, so yung ating kaninang conclusion, ginawa lang po nating negative, then I do not have a Siberian Husky. Yung po ang paggawa ng contrapositive. So, conditional, state, conditional, if Maria gets married, then the reception will be at the counter club. What is this statement? If the reception is at the country club, then Maria will be getting married. So what do you think is this? And that is converse statement. Okay? Is the converse true or false? Yon. Ayon dito sa ating illustration na conditional statements is the converse true or false converse if i am breathing then i am sleeping the conditional is if i am sleeping then i am breathing is it false it is false next given if i have a siberian husky then i have a dog identify the converse so, pagbabalik na rin lang po natin siya na ha. So, ito po siya. If I have a dog, then I have a Siberian Husky. The next, if Clarkson gives us a Mountain Dew, then he will be the coolest. What is the conclusion to this? He will be the coolest? Alright. Very good. Clarkson will be the coolest. Okay? So, that's all for our review. Na. So, once again, so, thank you for listening. That is all about uh, conditional statements. Sana pa. See you next time.